Did, did you listen to Jeff, Jeff and, and Professor, Professor Hamo in the morning? morning? Here's what you missed. I think, you know what? Cliff Clyde Moses. Yes. Has reminded me something very important. I hate forgetting dates. Uh, I hate forgetting dates. But I forgot yesterday's date, which is a very important date. Yes, yeah. we call it Two hours of sleep. It was a day after an you were talking about Riverside. Yes. See, oh, yeah. so, but even though I, I told you the story of Kabila on the 16th yes. of January. Yes. So yesterday, the 17th, happened to be the birthday of a man who was born as. Cassius Marcellus Clay. Ah. Cassius Marcellus Clay. Mm -hmm. Who later changed his name to Muhammad Ali. That's the one I'm talking <laughs> about. Oh. Thing. The greatest of all time. You know yes. when they coined that phrase goat? Yeah. Goat? <laughs> they were referring to Muhammad mm. Ali. He was the greatest of all time. And he told everyone. He kept saying, What do you mean? Baka, I mean, Ebus, like... Ebus yeah? Ebus this song on VOK back in the day. <laughs> Why are you laughing? VOK. Where? Stardubs, We are talking to a veteran. VOK, bro. And you okay? just all say, Wow, who is this guy? I'm going to my music. Man. So the man was born in Louisville, Kentucky oh, yeah. on January 17, 1942. 18 years later, 18, he had already become the world heavyweight champion. In 1960, he won the Olympic gold medal. Uh -huh. uh, no, 1960, he won the Olympic gold medal. Yes. Two years later, uh -huh. at the age of uh, 22, yes. he became the world heavyweight champion after beating wow. Sonny Liston in a major upset. Uh -huh. Nobody ever thought that this kid with the loud big mouth cool. would ever beat the champ, <laughs> Sonny Liston. Uh -huh. And from that day, he changed his name from Cassius Marcellus Clay. Yes. He just converted to Islam uh -huh. and became Muhammad uh -huh. Ali. Uh -huh. So fast forward, uh -huh. a few years later, the Vietnam War uh -huh. was devastating. Yes. If two Americans, I mean, 50,000 plus were killed. Eh? Uh -huh. America was fighting a war thousands and thousands of miles away, just uh -huh. like in Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh -huh. So they were drafting people in the 60s, drafting meaning forcing you to join the military. Uh -huh. Any male over the age of 18. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So they were being drafted. Muhammad Ali, as world heavyweight yeah. boxing champion, refused to be drafted. Ah, oh, yeah. Which is a crime. Oh, it was a crime. Yes. 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 He refused to be drafted. Yes. You know what he's he's quoted as saying back in the day, right? Yeah. Because the '60s in America was very volatile period. Uh -huh. Blacks fighting for their rights, you know, riots here and there. Yeah. So it was a very volatile period. Yeah. It was when Martin Luther King was killed in '68. You know, it was yeah. that decade. Yeah. So Ali turned around and says, no Vietnam person ever called me a nigger. Man. That's what he said. So why should I go ah, fight those guys? They man. never called me a nigger. Yes. And in the States, that's what they're being called. Oh, man. Very, very controversial uh, statement. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, uh, he was arrested. Right? Yes. Because he uh, was a criminal charge. And for, he's still, for draft evasion. And you're still the heavyweight no, champion. He couldn't fight. They stripped him of his boxing oh, titles. Man. This is 66, right? Wow. They stripped him of all his titles. For for the next five years, he was in court after court after court, up until he went to the Supreme Court. Wow. In Maraga, wow. I had the Maraga. Ma <laughs> yes. He went Washington. All the way to the Supreme Court in Washington, DC. Wow. Five years later. Wow. Is when it was overturned. Man. Imagine not having been able to fight for five years. So you could not fight. Couldn't fight. Couldn't go because no state yeah, would allow it. No state would allow this guy who yes. evaded the draft yes. to fight. And he's the heavyweight champion of the world. Man. So imagine coming back after five years. After five years, you have not fought. fought you haven't trained. Yes. Yeah. 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 Mor yeah. Morally go down. Yes. Unbelievable. Who was the first person I could have to write? That's a good one. So I think it was Joe uh, either Joe, Joe Smoking Joe Frazier. Smoking Joe Frazier, right? Smoking Joe Frazier, ah. right? Remember Smoking Joe? Guy. Remember Smoking Joe? And, he lost. <laughs> and he lost that one, right? Ah, and then he came the back. Mm. Then he came back and fought him twice again and beat him. Exactly. Wow. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah. So then yeah. Uh, everyone was contending for the middle, yeah. uh, for the heavyweight boxing yeah. title of the world, right? Mm -hmm. 
So I think it was Joe Frazier mm -hmm. who fought with George Foreman. Yeah. Ali fought some guy uh -huh. and he was waiting for the so. Frazier Foreman fight uh -huh. so that he could now challenge uh -huh. the champion. Okay. Right? Uh -huh. Everyone thought it was going to be Joe Frazier Man. who had beaten Ali before. Mm -hmm. Yes. So guess what? George Foreman knocked him out. Man. Big George Foreman knocked him out. And he was a big guy. Huge. Kicho Kipara. So what happens? Yeah. So what happens? Uh -huh. Ali now has to fight Foreman. Ah, right? Man. And they decided that some guy called uh, Don King. Yes, the white <laughs> white haired guy. No, he wasn't white haired. The, 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 the 1974. The promoter. 1974, he decided, you know what? Mm. Let's take this rumble to, to the jungle. jungle. <laughs> Let's go Zali. to Africa. Yeah. Of all countries, out of all these countries, <laughs> they, they pick Zaire. Man. Six million dollars each. What? By Mobutu. To fight. Oh, by yes. Mobutu. Mobutu paid each of the fighters six million US. Man. 1974. Kai, kai, kai. 1974. Mobutu. 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 And guess who was the entertainment for this rumble in the jungle? Who was? I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what I want now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I feel good. <laughs> 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 you know what I want? Can mm. you imagine? <laughs> imagine how much he was paid. Mm. What, that's so the now, king of soul. Yeah, it's decided yeah. this rumble <laughs> will be in the African jungle. Man. We're talking, it's not even the mid 70s, yeah. it's 74. What? Right? What do we do? How do we get there? Mm. What, what you know? Time difference, mm. you know, because it has to be prime time in America that oh, this yeah. boxing match happens. Yes. You can't do it at the at the ten o'clock Zaire time. Yes. Who go it okay as we? We talk about reporters at eleven. Who go do that TV? And the time. So they happen. arrive in Zaire. Yeah. This big celebration. Mobutu meets them personally, and they have like six weeks or eight weeks to prepare. Yeah. Right? Mm. They're there. You, you saw the movie Ali with yes. Will Smith. Yes. Amazing movie, amazing movie. By the way, I visited that stadium later on. Eh? He has Where a... they fought, yeah. Man. Oh, man. What is the name of the name? Uh, the stadium. Yeah. Oh, man. Right. I think they call it Maputo says the second stadium. I don't, I forgot. I, just yeah. as you enter Kinshasa. Yeah. It's right there. Man. They come in Yao Yao. Oh. So, anyway, they're training, training, training. In during this training, yeah. and TV cameras everywhere, the whole world is waiting for this rumble in the jungle. Yeah. Four men sustains an injury on his finger oh, yeah, during training. Yes, and now they announce that four men has to go back to America. It's injured. The fight is off. Oh, yeah. And Ali says, "You can't do that. We've been here for six, eight weeks. Yes. If we go back, forget about it. We'll never get this thing going." Yes. So Ali calls a press conference and says, "This guy is about to chicken off. He's <laughs> heading out of the country." President Wutu uh, closed the airport <laughs> at a press conference in Kinshasa. No, 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 President Wutu, please close and shut down the airport. Get man. the military on the street. Do not no, let no, this no, man no. leave. He's going to heal here and I'm going to beat him. I'm giving you six million, man. You're six million. No, no, my party are like now all on. Can you imagine? So anyway, yeah. George Foreman says, okay, he decides not to leave. Come on, dude. The, the finger heals. And the fight, the match is on at about four in the morning, Kinshasa time in 1974. The rumble in, in the, the jungle. jungle. George Foreman, the uh, the defending champion, yes. the heavyweight boxer of the world, champion yeah. of the world, and this kid, contender, the contender himself. Man. By the way, he had lost his title now twice. Eh? Ah. This was the third time I was going for it. Man. Unbelievable! That match, I think, went out to 15 rounds. It went all the, the way. way. And in the end, round 15, Ali gave him the roundhouse. That shot has been seen around the world. You can see it's all over the internet yeah. when he's floored George Horn. And the crowd kept saying, Ali, boom, ah. my Ali, boom, <laughs> my Ali, boom, which means yeah. Ali kill him. Boom, <laughs> <laughs> the Americans love this phrase. Oh, what is Boomer? <laughs> they have no idea. Nikki Kong. Nikki Lingala. Mooe. 
Why are they now? Yes. You know, yeah. Foreman is a big guy. Uh, he was a in, huge, I mean, brother, huge brother. Yeah. And he was doing this, what the song was saying. Yeah. It floats like a butterfly. It stings like a bee. And actually, that's when the, the whole uh, phrase, yeah. rope-a-dope, came from. Ah. You've heard rope-a-dope. Yeah. 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 That's rope-a-dope. That was Ali, man. As you're watching his feet, yes. you, you take your eyes. <laughs> Oh, you're being entertained as you are being limited. So Ali was declared the heavyweight champion, champion of the world. world. Champion of the world. Oh, man. Amazing, amazing. Real in the jungle. Can you imagine? And Mobutu was present, by the way. Uh -huh. Mobutu was present in the presidential stand. Uh -huh. There was thousands of people in the stadium. Man. And then, as he floored George Foreman, it started to rain. Ah. The heavens opened up Man, and it started to rain in that stadium. <laughs> it blessed him, bro. <laughs> My I friend. Mean, I think we're going to be fair. I'm telling the you. The things he did. Yes. And I could be that round. Yeah, but then later on, okay, so this was the second time he won it or the, third, mm. the second time? Mm -hmm. And then he lost it again. Mm -hmm. Or maybe this was the th third time, I'm not sure. But he won and lost that title three times. Wow. Can you imagine? That's Three why he became time. the greatest of all time. Oh, yeah. And then later on, he developed this Parkinson's disease, which, yes. which crept in. Mm. And for the next, what is it, 30 years, he died just a couple of years ago, right? Yes, yeah. You know, he was a shell of himself, just shaking, shaking, shaking. He couldn't speak for a while. Yeah. And motor, his motor functions completely, yeah. completely went. You know, I had that eh, a story. Mm. Mama, or, uh, the, the last person on the mm. who was he? You know, the, the last one, eh? The last one, eh? Yeah. I, one day, I had gone on gear and the coach here, Tyson. Uh -huh. Tyson was 16 then. Eh? Right. I had gone on pick on gear. But uh, Tyson would pick the phone, kwa room in Kine and ask him. And you would hear, and ask him the, the, the charm pa kiyong gear. Great supporter. Yeah. One day, he said, uh, the coach, Akasema, I have a kid who is going to be the champion. Ali, Akasema, what's his name? Akambi, on Tyson's name. Akaulizo, can I get to meet him? Akambi, you can, you can talk to him. He's on the line. He did not come with the kid. can I get a skita. So, the only thing Ali, uh, Ali told Tyson, yeah, yeah. when you are of age, get this guy for me. And surely, Mm, Buster, Buster Douglas. Buster Douglas. Buster Douglas. Mm. Oh. At 21. He knocked him out. No, he got ring na 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 the champ himself. And he said, get him for me. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> get him for me. Get him for me. <laughs> and Tyson, what about that? I'll get him. I'll get him. <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to get him. What a story. Cassius oh, Marcellus Clay, oh, aka Muhammad Ali, <laughs> aka the GOAT. <laughs> the GOAT. The greatest of all time. We're going to put you. I feel good. <laughs> Catch Jeff Koinange and Professor Hamo every day, Monday to Friday, from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., only on Hot 96.